Good morning, this is Regina of Morel Fiber, and today I'm doing the pointed pineapple tutorial. Um, this is a finishing edge for a pineapple piece, uh, which is a traditional crochet motif. And in this particular project, it is part of my cobweb wrap, which is a convertible skirt. So here you can see I've got my edge going already. Um, it consists of one freestanding pineapple worked back and forth, which is what I'm doing here. And then once that freestanding pineapple is worked, we do an edging down the side to continue along. And here I'm um, doing row one, which is basically the same as the pineapples that's been worked in the rounds. We're just working them individually back and forth. So we're going to single crochet, chain three in each of the next 11 spaces after we work our initial shell. <laughs> So we're just following the strategy for normal pineapples, which is a shell or two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, and then a chain space, and then a series of chain loops in those double crochets from the setup round. The setup round with the double crochets is worked in the round before beginning the freestanding pineapple edge. So now we'll work our shell on the other side and it's worked in between two single double crochets of a shell below and it's kind of an odd place to put it you could set it up better in the round before that but you don't really need to so instead of continuing to work another row of the next pineapple like before we're going to turn our piece without chaining And we need to start in the chain one space of this last shell. So we're going to slip stitch for the next two stitches. It might be a little tight. Just take your time in placing your hook. So we travel forward two spaces so we can start the edge shell in the shell, the space of the shell below. So to do that, we're going to chain three, which does not count as the first double crochet. I'm going to slow it down a little bit to make it easier. Um, and then we're going to two double crochet in the same space. And then chain one. And then two, two more double crochet. So we're making our shell on the outside. And then chain three. Oops. Chain three to do the next row of single crochet chain three loops in each of the next 10 spaces. These uh, pineapples for this hem we're working have 12. We start with 12 double crochet. You could do it the same edging with a smaller amount, like a, a, a skinnier, smaller pineapple. Um, this is a really good edging for any size of pineapple and any amount of chain spaces. I think I mentioned in the original cobweb skirt pattern um, that you can chain three in between your shells in your actual pineapple. Uh, you can chain five in between if you want kind of a wider spacing, which I give an example um, in the pattern of, of pineapples made with chain fives in between the shells. Um, it's a bit of a wider spacing. It's good. Um, pineapples are really fun once you get the general theory of them and they are fun to play with. Um, if you haven't ever worked them before, like I said, this is the crochet, uh, crochet pattern for the cobweb convertible skirt. It's a really great pattern. It has tons of photos and it's a written pattern as well as this video tutorial. It is a paid pattern and I'll link to it in the description below this video. It's a good place to start if you think that this is um, a pretty lace design and you want to try it out, but you've never tried pineapples. 
Okay, so here I've got to the end of that row and I did the same thing as I did before, which is to finish the outside shell, to turn without chaining and slip stitch in the next stitches so that I'm starting the next row's outside shell in the, in the space of the shell below. And I chain three and I continue my strategy of working one single crochet and one chain three in each of these chain loops from the pineapple row below. And we'll continue doing the pineapple in this manner, working the regular rows back and forth um, until we've completed the entire pineapple, meaning that we've got the last um, chain loop done and the single crochets and then the final two freestanding or paired up shells at the top. So here, are, after our last row for the freestanding pineapple, we're going to want to work our edging back down toward the next place to put the next pineapple. So we're going to turn. You may not have to turn, um, if, depending on the number of base stitches in your pineapple or the direction you're working, I'm not sure. But um, here we're uh, going to turn and then work our edging back down the side to start the next pineapple. To do that, we're going to chain three. And the edging is worked in the outermost double crochets down the side of the rows. So in the side of this double crochet, or actually it's the turning chain in this case, we're gonna slip our hook under it so that's just between that stitch and the one right next to it. So under the side, it's kind of in between stitches. And we'll work a double crochet in that opening. Another double crochet in that opening. A pico, which is a chain length. I usually do three. Um, I think traditionally it's four, but it depends. So chain a length and then slip stitch in the top of the last stitch worked. And that creates this little chain nub called a pico. And then double crochet in the same space. So that's three double crochets. The middle one has a pico on it. And then we chain three. single crochet in the side of the double crochet on the outer edge of the next shell, chain three, 
and then we're going to work the same repeat. So double crochet two in the side. Whoops. Work the pico. Double crochet one more in the side. Chain three. Single crochet in the side of the next row, which is that double crochet on the outer edge of the shell. <laughs> Chain three and so on. And just work those repeats until you've reached the last row of the pineapple. Here I've worked into every row so I have this nice little edge going down the side and I'm ready to start my next freestanding pineapple. So I have three chain from the end of the repeat but I actually don't need any chains so I'm going to pull those out. The last repeat you can skip the chain three at the end. And I'm going to work a shell in between the two double crochets of the same shell that formed the edge of the other pineapple and we begin the whole process again working all the way around the edge of your pineapple piece and here on the screen is a finished example of a pointed pineapple hem this is um, on my cobweb wrap skirt and you can find more about that pattern by following the link to my blog in the description below or on the screen here for lots of more free patterns and tutorials <music>